Hey guys, November 10th, we got a little bit of a break in the weather. It's been staying mild, so Dave and I and possibly Kyla are going to get out today. We're going to do a trolling only run, and tomorrow we might try and hit Eagle or Cliff or Cedar Peralt, one of the big lakes, and kind of take one last swing. But for today, because we're just doing a trolling run on one of our favorite lakes, I'm just going to take a kind of a hand-selected bit of baits, and you can't go wrong with the 10-inch matlock. And because we've been having good luck on this new jointed dirty perch matlock, we're going to take that. And then I want to try something different. I have a 9 inch herring from Blue Water Baits, and it's that real classic Cisco pattern. So I definitely want to try that today. Okay, guys, another quick thing that we're going to do today, and this is kind of the lengths that we go to to try and get you guys some cool underwater footage. Even though it's November 10th, Water super cold. It's going to be probably in that 40 degree range or even cooler. We are going to take the quad dog and we're going to try and get some underwater footage because you guys have been asking for it. So we're going to take a couple of these and try and get some cool underwater shots for you guys to try and include in some of the videos that we're going to be putting out shortly. Why do we do this? Why do we go out this late in Octo or October? It's not even October. It's November. What's the allure of going out this late in the season? Uh, I won't be able to do it till the third week of July or June, so I want to get every day I can get. Why do you like going out this late in the season, Kyla? Oh, I just find the fish are a little more aggressive and they tend to want to chase, and especially when you're trolling in the fall, there's a chance of a nice fall fatty. It's a nine inch herring from Blue Water Baits. Okay. Hey guys, the day four, but we've had a, a break in between. We're sitting on November 10th, like I had said this morning. Kyla's got one. I'll let you guys guess what she got it on. What'd you get it on, Kai? Oh, matlock. <laughs> a 10 inch glitter perch matlock. It's buried in the net. We're not going to mess with that. Kai's going to grab the fish here. Nice. All right, let's have a look at this one. Not bad. Oh. He's got some net rash on him now. Yeah, chunky little fish for sure. Yep. Nothing yep. wrong with that. Yep, beauty. All right, well, let's get that one back and we'll get set up. Dig this lure out. Splash him? Sure. Yep. I think he'll go. Yep. Oh, yep. I'm gonna I'm eat the net. He's okay. All right, there we go. That's number one on the day. We're gonna get <clears throat> reset up here, and we've been wanting to do this run for a while. Kyla had one bumper across the lake from here. We're gonna get reset up, kind of roll down this shore, and hopefully we'll be right back. Come on, come on, come on. 
Yeah. We gotta get the planer board yeah, off. I'll get it, I'll get it. It's gotta be quick though, there's a few clips. I'm not yelling. No, I'm saying if I'm not. This isn't quick, I'm sorry. How do you get this off? Clip it. Fish is gone. No, it's not. It's still there. Okay, well, you're not. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, look at the size of it. Well, how did it get stuck in there? Because you got to pull that down. Well, you never, you told me two clips. Well, we're out here about 10 minutes, probably, eh, since Kyla's fish, maybe 15. And uh, Glenn's uh, bait on the planer board just went for a rip and we had a little snafu <laughs> figuring out the planer board and Glenn's got a little guy no wrapped up in here tight. Yeah, he's all wrapped up, but we'll get him here. Let's see, I think he is almost unhooked. But this shoreline has the warmest waters we've seen here. We're at 41.4. Kyla's was at 41.3, so... We'll keep looking for that. You got it. Okay, buddy. There we go. All right, just a little guy. Yeah. But he hit. I'll dig this bait out. So I just grabbed this today, thinking the Cisco color would be good. And I'm running a planer board just to try and get it away from the boat. <clears throat> And it's a nine inch herring from Blue Water Baits. And I'm running it according to what Lydia told me. Should be getting down about 14 feet. So we'll get reset here and probably move back so we get a good run on this shoreline, Dave. Yeah, I'll give it another try. Like, and we'll keep an eye on this water temp because that's a degree warmer than we've seen anywhere else. And this time of year, that makes a big difference. Yeah, it sure does. All right, let's get reset. I'll remember the pin this time. This is so spicy! There we go. Let me turn it up. Yeah. There you are. Yep. monster again. Oh, he got off. No. Yep. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Ah. Gone. Felt like a gooder one too. Well guys, that is a wrap on November 10th. We got end up with two, had a couple other rips. A couple good rips. Yeah, a couple good rips, but we gotta rethink our what we're doing there because they shouldn't have come off trolling, that's no. for sure. No, that kind of goes back to we are not the greatest trollers and we, we gotta figure that out what to do with the boat control when we get a fish hooked up, but that that's kind of the way it goes and we're always learning. We're learning, we're learning the planer board today. I forgot to tell Kyla there was a pin holding the line in and I ended up having to hand bomb that one in. Thankfully it was only like four pounds. <laughs> it wasn't very big. But hey, when you're trolling, you can't control that kind of stuff, right? It kind of is what it is. No, that's exactly right. And you get excited and the boat's busy and everybody's dressed like the Michelin man. You don't have the mobility or the footing you do in the summertime. It, everything becomes difficult. Yeah. That's all it is. Well, Dave's dressed like the Michelin man. I look like him because I'm in the black and white, but. And I feel like him. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but that was good, guys. Tomorrow, we're going to go swing for the fences. Um, we're going to fill them tomorrow. Even if we get zero, we're definitely going to fill them and kind of show our day tomorrow because we're going to head down most likely the west arm of Eagle and anybody that knows Eagle and knows especially the west arm that's needle in a haystack kind of stuff but you got the potential to break the internet out there and we'll just be covering water and hopefully we encounter something yep yeah absolutely and I think we'll wrap it up today for that right there. And for another video where the three of us are out being jackasses, Kyla's going to point towards it. And uh, other than that, I think 54 Bust is out of here. We're going to warm up, maybe have a cocktail tonight. And we'll catch you guys out on the water tomorrow. Later. Later. Later.